In this video, we are going to talk about Tilm 10 Lumex UI CRs in DIA World. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. An outing in one of the world's most costly supercars is something other than a basic excursion. It's an encounter, a piece of workmanship, a rare experience, and that is before you've even put your foot on the pedal. 2022 is confirmation that the sky's the breaking point with regards to hypercars. While the most costly extravagance vehicles could share a couple of things for all intents and purpose with their less expensive partners, we're talking four wheels, entryways, and a directing wheel. They put themselves aside with those genuinely ostentatious, unendingly noteworthy elements that meld the hole between a vehicle and a showstopper. Number 10. Land Rover Range Rover The Range Rover is one of those vanishingly intriguing vehicles that resist the business conventional item cycle. The ongoing model showed up in 2012, and surprisingly, in these unusual times, it's actually raising a ruckus around town with its top-of-the-line client base. However, at that point, you see the upgraded one, just the fifth era in 51 years and you understand that there are a few things even the Range Rover can't outrun for eternity. This is an all-new vehicle in each viewpoint, with a basic reappraisal of its position on the planet. Key here are two module crossbreeds, badged P440E and P510, that compares to a 434 and 503 but power yield individually. These consolidate Land Rover's 3.0-liter six-chamber petroleum motor with a 105 kilowatts battery, taking care of an electric engine with a usable limit of 31.8 kilowatt hours to convey up to 62 miles of unadulterated electric driving with CO2 outflows around 30 grams slash cam. We'd say 50 miles in reality is more conceivable. Land Rover figures that normal Range Rover clients will actually want to finish 75% of their excursions while never annoying the gas-powered motor. Not exactly a escape prison-free card, however a major improvement. Number 9. Bentley Continental GT There's a central issue in Bentley's timetable that we can call BC, before Continental. So indispensable was the principal Conti GT for deals, yet setting a layout and tone for the entire brand, that you could undoubtedly contend that were it not for the two-entryway roadster, Bentley might just not accompany us today. The best extravagance vehicle of current times, presumably. Furthermore, presently it's into its subsequent age, still the point of convergence for the entire brand, epitomizing what a Bentley is while the Bentayga SUV makes tons of money somewhere else in the reach. It's something attractive, the new Conti GT and Profile, where the front wheels have been moved forward to further develop the weight conveyance and drop the motor lower and further back in the suspension. Number 8. BMW 7 Series There's the new 8 Series as well, which will generate a 4-entryway Cantina variant with an identification. Absolutely, there are other BMWs competing for the title of supervisor of the family. In the meantime, BMW's been paying attention to what its clients needed from the 7 to beat any semblance of the Mercedes S-Class, generally the class characterizing Pioneer in the limo set, and the Audi A8. Furthermore, what they thought of was a triple danger approach. Make it seriously forcing, make it appear to be more unique to a 3 and 5 series, and give us more curiosity highlights, said the clients. Indeed, we can most likely take off errands 1 and 2. The new 7 Series is a somewhat unnerving-looking item because of slimmer laser headlights outlining a grille that is 40% greater than the last rendition. Without a doubt, the entire cap is 50 mm higher to crush in the Uber grille, all for the sake of giving the vehicle more street presence. Round the back, the LED lights are presently more precise and their lighting components vitalize and look across the vehicle. Obviously, the manager of BMW Korea embraced the creators when they exhibited this. So appreciative was he that this contrivance, sorry, oddity, had been underlined. Number 7. Bentley Bentayga Joining thrilling execution with flawless craftsmanship, the Bentayga is a SUV without settling for less. You can drive it any place, from city roads to the open street, and then some. What's more, 
with a decision of seating designs including 4-seat, 5-seat, and 7-seat choices, you can take everybody and everything with you. Four models are accessible in the Pentega range. The quintessential Pentega, the intense Pentega S, the exceptionally strong Pentega Speed, and the lavish Pentega Azure, loaded with innovation intended to help each tenant's prosperity. Ideal for business, relaxation, and in the middle between, the Bentayga is an extravagance SUV like no other. Number 6. Jaguar XG Puma's modern reach-beating cantina stays a striking vehicle, even three years after sent off. For 2014, it was changed, with quietly sharpened suspension settings, better sat-nav, a standard 8-speed auto with stop-start, in addition to large enhancements in diesel productivity. Presently, it's been facelifted once more, with amended motors and inside tech, full LED headlights, and more unmistakable G-Sharp Edge daytime running lights. The XGR is still near, with its 550 bup supercharged 5.0-liter V8 and Merc AMG-like mentality. However, presently there's a R Sport model for the people who need the looks yet, not the fuel bills. There's another best-in-class autobiography trim as well, for the people who like to spend something like six figures. Number 5. Porsche Panamera Is it a super cantina? Is it an extravagance vehicle? No, it's a, well, it's somewhat extraordinary, the Porsche Panamera. We should consider it a super lux, a game's extravagance vehicle that is neither BMW M5 nor Mercedes S-Class. However, some in the middle between. Its regular habitat is the superhighway, the external path of the expressway, where, unshackled from the 155 miles per hour speed limiter of most German organizations, a Turbo S rendition could pound along at 196 miles per hour. Indeed, even the new hybrid can do 185 miles per hour. New for 2020 is a robust midlife facelift. The styling has been changed, most effectively at the neater, tittier backside. The motor is updated with additional power and better emanations, and the undercarriage and lodges given somewhat more love. Driven a more seasoned Panamera and thought that it is a digit nervous and firm, yet in addition huge and cumbersome. That is where the upgraded one increases. It's no more modest genuinely, yet it feels more modest to drive, in addition to rides better and handles all the more deftly. It's an exhaustive sort out. Number 4 to 7 Rolls Royce Wraith. The Wraith is called the most remarkable Rolls Royce ever. The primary piece is effortlessly managed. A turbocharged 6.6-liter V12 sends 624 BEP to the back tires. 10% more power than you'll track down even in the new Phantom and Cullinan. Accomplishing those high rates should be a dawdle. With two turbos, the rate has a ginormous 590 pounds at a force accessible from 1,500 revolutions per minute, enough to move its 2.4 tons to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 stacks. Speedier than hot trapdoors, with not unique ability to weight proportions, and very alarming to encounter in something with sheep's fleece floor mats. Number 3. Audi A8 A major significant canal boat of a thing generally barely any will purchase, and a specialized accomplishment few have the assets or designing could to coordinate or outperform. Thus it ought to be, since in such a case that you truly need to see what a producer is really fit for designing, you check its leader out. What's more? The A8 is and consistently had been on ease, which is the reason the upgraded one checks out tech we haven't seen previously. However, in all likelihood, will on future a 6 and a 4s. Tech like Gridlock Pilot, which conveys contingent level 3 independence by assuming total command over the directing, brakes and gas pedal on motorways and tumble carriageways. Or on the other hand, the new infotainment framework, which coordinates Audi's virtual cockpit instrument group with two touchscreens for a generally sans button mid control area. Number 2 Rolls Royce Phantom. Starting from the first Phantom, showed up in quite a while. Royce Motor Cars has had its highs and lows. While the active Phantom showed up at the stroke of 12 p.m. on January 1, 2003, the organization even called it the last extraordinary auto experience. 
Rolls-Royce figures the Phantom is the gauge by which every other person in the realm of costly extravagance products estimates themselves. So the bar isn't simply raised here, it's bejeweled and platinum-plated. You know when somebody professes to be the Rolls-Royce of watches slash furniture slash rock kitchen worktops. Indeed, this is the Rolls-Royce of Rolls-Royces. Rolls says the Phantom's new space frame structure is 30% more unbending than the past model, a figure that ascends fundamentally in key regions like suspension and gearbox. This new construction, incidentally, offers adequate adaptability to support the following flood of Rolls item, its SUV included. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz S-Class It's unimaginable not to consider the past six ages of Mercedes S-Class as you approach this seventh cycle. Think about them and pity such piffling mechanical world firsts as non-freezing stopping devices, 1978, on the W116, or airbags, 1981's W126. Recollect the stunningness you encountered whenever you first saw a vehicle with two-fold coated windows. It's enticing to quick forward 40 years and consider what could lie coming up for future experts of the universe. Since this all-new S-Class, W223, assuming that you're so disposed, is ostensibly the greatest reset since the Sonder class previously showed up in 1972. It's a head spinner a vehicle that looks further ahead than at any other time and takes contemporary fixations, for example, network, digitization, zap and independence, and gives them the mother and father of all Mercedes turns. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.